I'm just going to do a quick review of um, where is my delete of the chart. This is the YM, it's 12 by 1 point figure with volume. All right, so basically, we were in a price was uh, going down, and um, this was the support level that was broken. Okay, that is the level that was broken, and it was broken on heavy volume. So that's what you expect. That's, you know, that's the, the breakout, high volume breakout. And then price continued to go down. So price continues to go down. And over here, there's volume activity here and in here okay this right here is not really selling it's not selling you don't know that until the reversal but you know just remember they just cuz it's red doesn't mean it's selling all right so it goes down there's heavy volume that comes in it starts moving sideways, it gets retested on lighter volume. And then here you have a very clear bullish indication. This rally on this kind of volume. Tables have turned. Alright, so over here you have this rally. It's backed by s what the hell was that? It's backed by um accumulation so that that's why I have some of these indications here all right so it rallies and the reason why it has high volume in here is because it's testing a breakdown so obviously if it's testing a breakdown there's going to be sellers there so the sellers are selling that exact area this is where the breakdown occurred price tests it sellers are gonna say oh that's where it broke let's sell that area so they sell it it doesn't really go back down too much instead it only goes down this much and their buyers stepping up right here so the sellers are selling but the buyers are ready to absorb their selling and this entire area becomes an absorption area so they absorb the selling and rally it rallies all the way up here where again price starts encountering supply supply comes in breaks and guess what they go it goes right back to the area from where the breakout occurred what is that area it's right there I don't want to go into all oh, this is a spring and all that, but obviously it's a support area, right? Okay, so once it tags that support area, price rallies, and then it starts moving sideways. There's some volume here. You know, it goes up and it reverses down, but this time... What the fuck? Um, I hate when Windows does that, makes all that noise. Uh, anyway, where is it? Right here, you see that high volume reversal or that change of behavior, whatever you want to call it. All right, over here, you had the selling. It went down to test um, the support area, retested the resistance area, and heavy selling from the resistance area. It's very, very common for this to occur goes to an area where they were selling, goes back to that area, and there's more selling. That's all there is. But after that selling, you see that buyers are stepping in. And they're stepping in on good volume. Okay? So now we're back at that resistance area, and I want to see what, you know, what they're trying to do over here. Because I think it's a little... The first time it was rejected, the second time it was rejected, 
and now they're going to this area a third time all right so the at price volume action here I think is is pretty important um, higher time frame obviously is in a downtrend there was an up thrust there was a retest um, on the high time frame hourly chart but is that you know are our buyers going to absorb that area or our sellers going to press it back down I think that's what the um, that's what's occurring so we're going to see what happens here and that's all the key key things to remember recall from this hate that noise um, is the break when you break a support or resistance level and it has volume like this it's a good thing all right you want uh, high volume breakout breakdowns that's a very good um, indication reliable the other is there's you know when, when there is a breakout like this you want to see the background and see if there was accumulation clearly there is accumulation the volume says there is and there is a base basing right you see how it's going down up and down grinding sideways then after that understand why this volume is high it's because it's retesting then on the pullback be able to detect the buying of the pullback when it rallies eventually it encounters supply and there's a high volume reversal okay then after that you have a retest of that same area and there's more selling why is the high volume reversal over here represents resistance and the retesting and heavy supply from that area represents selling from that area now the question is what is this this is what's confusing because they're selling but look at the amount of buying even though it looks less it's still very heavy okay it shouldn't be like that so something's not right first thing is you know it comes into that area pulls back and then is able to rally and make a higher high so does that mean there's still strength there I, I think so so the the bears need to make a stand and press this market down right at this level otherwise these guys need to absorb this uh, area and and basically break out that's all folks take care